San Diego Strike Force indoor football team. They're trying to make a difference off the field as well. Tonight's game is dedicated to help the San Diego Silverbacks football team who recently, as you know, lost one of their own in a tragic accident. Vivi Lin, the team's president and CEO, as well as Silverback receiver Ruben Silva joining us now this morning. You guys, thanks for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so for having me. Um, and, and as we mentioned earlier, uh, the last time you were here, mm. we were talking about the team. It was exciting. Th th this is, it, it's great that you guys are doing this, but, but the tragedy and the circumstances, to, who wants to kind of fill us in on what happened here? Well, Ruben was there, so I'll go ahead and let him yeah, tell Ruben. the story. Um, so we were on the 54 East uh, State Route, and Dave had gotten a flattened tire. His front right tire yeah. had popped. And so he contacted me to come help him, come change his tire. And we were changing it. And he was standing on the side of his car, kind of close to the yellow line. But it was enough room for us to like move in and out. And it was just in a matter of seconds that a car had yeah. came pretty fast. and had hit him, had taken him down the road, yeah. and yeah. it's, it's yeah, tragic. That, that's a picture of your boy right there, uh, Dave yeah. Post. Mm -hmm. um, and we're honoring him today and his skills and his talent. Uh, I love that picture. <laughs> you guys kind of, you know, uh, on the, what can you tell us about him for, you know, those of us who didn't know him? Uh, what kind of teammate was he? What kind of, what kind of person was he, obviously, and what kind of friend? Oh, Dave was my, my man. Yeah. He, he was a big bro to me. Yeah. Um, first time I met him, we were at a little get together and we were friends through a mutual friend. So first time I met him, he was like, he was like, sup bro? He was like, my name's Dave, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> and he was, like, he was like treating me like he already knew me. Yeah. And you know, he was such a good person and it was easy to talk to him, get along with him. And just his energy, he would, he would start laughing for no reason, you start laughing for yeah. no reason. And that's just who the person he was. People like that are pretty special, aren't they? Of um, course. Let, let's talk about what, mm. what the Strike Force is doing yeah. uh, to honor Dave. Well, you know, I, as last time I was here, one of the things that I talked about specifically is that we're here in the community to win games on the field yep. and win hearts in the community. When I heard about Dave Post, it broke my heart. It literally did. And I didn't know Dave, but I knew that in, here in San Diego, football, is a real part of a fi the fiber of our community. And I wanted to be able to reach out to Lisa and Elliot Lindbrick, who own this Silverbacks team, and ask them, what can we do to help? Yeah. And you know, being able to get Dave back home to Texas, which is where his mother is from, being able to help their family with funeral expenses. No mother expects yeah. that they are going to lose their son at the age of 22, especially one who's doing everything right. He's taking care of himself, he's working, he's pursuing his passion, he's encouraging and elevating yeah. his friends. This is a kid who had a great future. And now we want to make sure that in this tragedy, we help tell the story that he's going to inspire people through the life that he lived. And Ruben is one of those examples. Yeah, I mean, you know, you said 22 years old, it breaks your heart, but it's that first moment when he says, hey, what's up? <laughs> when you know, it's like, man, you click with this guy, yeah. you become your friend right away. Uh, tell me about the, the, you're giving tickets for donation, and how does that work? How do people get involved? Yeah, that's really important to me. One of the things I told Lisa I want to support, um, the, one of the owners of yeah. the Silverbacks, is how do we support, and we're going to raise money. So we have a GoFundMe page. Okay. It is available. You can find it on our website, but you can also come to the game and donate $20 on GoFundMe, and we'll give you two tickets. Come to the oh, game. Wow. Anything over $20, we'll give you two tickets. This is why we're here. Although we want to win games, we want to serve our community. And this is a commitment that the San Diego Strike Force has. The day after Mother's Day, this is an opportunity for his mother to kind of heal. Yeah. And I encourage our entire community, come on out. It's 20 bucks. It's a couple of Starbucks drinks, you know, and come and support this young man. His football team will be there. They'll be joining us on the field. His family is here. They've all flown in. Um, oh, and they're wow. going to be on the field with they're us. They're in from so, Texas yes. for tonight's game. Yes. That, that's that's yeah. amazing. Um, is there a, a figure that we're looking for in terms of the GoFundMe? What kind of money are we looking to raise? Here? You know, if we can raise five, ten thousand mm -hmm. right. dollars. I mean, I don't. If like I said, even five dollars from from our community. If you that that's what you got, yeah. that means something to me. But to get them five, ten thousand, and even to be able to serve um, Ruben, you know, there's one of the things we talked about earlier is. There's trauma that goes on in our life, and you are facing some trauma now from being able to, so you're yep. seeing your friend 
in a very tragic situation as life end. So there's mental health that it, needs it, to it's be. It's cool that the Silverbacks, were you surprised that they reached out to you? And it's kind of like cool that everybody's kind of interacting and helping one another, right? Yeah. Tell me about that experience. Well, um, the Silverbacks, they're like another family. Like when I first met Elliot and Lisa, they were like auntie and uncle to me. Hmm. And they brought me in and they treated me the same as they did everyone and you know when you be a part of something like that it's hard to like get away from it and Dave was telling me about it how he was playing for this football team mm -hmm. and everything and I was like I don't know man I was like my football days are like kind of done yeah and I was like I was like I'll play I was like I ain't got nothing to lose yeah why not and ever since I never regretted it wow uh, catch people the, the, so the Silverbacks is that a professional team? Explain what, what you guys uh, do. It's a developmental football league. Got so it. it's people local and the league we're in, um, we have teams from LA, um, Orange County, yeah. so, so like all over. So it's a few organizations that, do, that get together that have people just play football. Yeah, good for you. Uh, and I, I'm sure Dave would be proud of you guys and would be proud of, of what we're all doing together. As right? our There's, community, yeah. right? To come around a young man. Okay, yeah. uh, let's make sure everybody knows it. Fox5SanDiego.com, all the information is there. The game uh, tonight against the Pirates, Massachusetts. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock down at Pechanga. Yep. And you heard there, I mean, just donate what you can. Anything yep. over 20 bucks, you get the two tickets for free. Yeah. Come out, uh, have dinner, and, yeah. uh, you know, celebrate Dave's life with us, and the football game will break out. All right, uh, Ruben, thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry for your loss, mm. but I'm sure Dave would be very proud of you. We appreciate the time. And Vivi, as always, and to the Strike Force, thanks for everything you guys did. Thank you so much. Right, appreciate you guys.